Hi, it's Phil Stone. Welcome to Turn On's training series. This is for master distributors, and this is on recruiting retail distributors. Now, again, we're going to go through some basics here, but the first thing I want to talk about is what is the number one worst four letter word in our business, and that's wait. So, in other words, you don't have to wait until everything is perfect to take action, because really, taking action is what's going to get you the results you're looking for here. But if you are intending to visit retail locations or organizations to recruit retail distributors, there are a few things you're going to need. First of all, print the turn on flyer and put your contact information on that and have some of those handy. Also, you're going to need to have some way to do a presentation. Now, you can actually have your laptop with you, have the PowerPoint slides in it, and walk through the presentation. Or you can play the recorded video. Now, if you're not going to be bringing your laptop or a way to play the video, you can just print the slides, print them on an 8.5 by 11 sheet, put them in a nice three-ring binder with a sheet protector, and carry that in and use that for all of your materials because you're going to need, obviously, to go through a basic presentation with the, the decision maker. And then bring your turn on retail distributor information sheet so you can fill all that stuff in and get all their information and get them at least the beginning of the process set up. And you're going to need a way to place their order for the two cases through your site. And what I mean by that is if you have a laptop and you have the way to get Wi-Fi all the time, if you have one of those cards, or if you have your laptop and it happens to have a connection inside their facility, or if they'll let you use their computer that can get you online, you're all set. But keep in mind the way that this works, they're going to be replacing their first two cases order on your site. You're going to wind up getting the 23% on those two cases. Then you're going to set up their site for them. And then after that, everything they place will be in their site so that they're going to get the 23%. Remember here, if you have somebody that wants to order more than two cases, you don't want to do that to them because you're going to take really away the 23% for them. Always do unto others as you would have others do unto you, period. So since that wouldn't be something that you'd want to have somebody do to you, just two cases, even if they want to buy four. If they want to get four cases, great. Say, I'll tell you what, let me show you how you do that the best way. Set up the two case order through you, then set up their site, then they can go back in and set up an order for two more cases in their site right away. No problem. Just make sure you do it that way. Now, this is a real key. If you pick a retail location where they know you, you're really set. You don't need a whole heck of a lot more than what we're talking about right here. Now, think about the places that you go to right now. Maybe uh, you go to a, a, a package store, liquor store, and they happen to know you. Or maybe you uh, go to a convenience store all the time. And when you walk in, they say, hey, they may not know you by name, but they recognize you. Because realistically, you've got to figure that trust is going to be a big part of this, especially on the initial order. Okay, other helpful tools, well obviously business cards are going to be really nice. And this is the format we're using for the turn on business cards. You'll be able to order those right through our turn on supplier at the lowest cost we possibly can get for you. If you want to do something on your own, again, perfectly fine as long as people don't get the impression that you're corporate. Notice this card says distributor. You also are going to want to have a couple of cans of turn on with you. I mean really that makes all the sense in the world. So. As soon as you get your master distributor position, my suggestion would be to order a case so that you have some of that on hand just so you can carry it with you. You don't have to be giving it to everybody. Sometimes you might want to let people keep it. Sometimes you might want to have them take a sip. Sometimes you might want to just show them the can. But having the can is going to help a whole heck of a lot because when you walk into that store and you hold the can, they're looking at the can. They understand right away what's going on. You're also going to want to carry some of the camera ready artwork so you can show them because realistically any store, any location is going to want to have a way to promote what you're doing. You can show them what you uh, can make available. Now if you actually want to go down to a Kinko's or a uh, Office Depot, one of those places and get some of these things printed, you can actually carry some with you and then give them one or two free when they set up their distributorship. Now on the right side here you see that little coaster. That's a beautiful piece if you're going to be walking into lounges. But definitely you got to have something where they can right away promote the product. And that's exactly what you want them to do. So make that as simple as possible. 
make sure they know that the artwork is ready. Then you figure out what you want to do. If you want to give them a little intro pack, I mean, obviously you have about 40 bucks you're making on this transaction. You might want to sacrifice some of that profit, invest that in some of these materials, and then give some of that to these guys to help set up the program for them. As far as what you wear, business casual attire. Now, there may be a time the turn on offers, you know, the polo shirts, that type of thing with a logo on it. Well, until that point, you want to take the JPEG down to a local screen printing place that can do that work for you and get a black shirt with that logo on it. I mean, that will definitely help. You want to look professional, you want to overdo it. You want to look professional, you want to be pretty much what they would expect of someone coming in offering them a product. So carry in your basic tools, and keep in mind, you don't want to look like you're moving in. I mean, if you have a attache case and you have a laptop carrier, you'll be carrying basic stuff, you know, so it doesn't look like you're moving in for the month. And if the person manning the place makes eye contact, well, introduce yourself. You know, hi, Joe Smith from Turn On Beverages. Can I ask to meet the person who does your ordering? Maybe spend a couple of minutes to tell them about how our new retail distributor program with Turn On Beverages works. You know, there's something like that. Hold up the can or hand them the flyer or your card. Give them something to try to engage them a little bit. And by the way, do not let the conversation get into sexual innuendos. This is a completely wholesome program. Stay completely away from that. Now, if the person appears busy, don't just stand there tapping your foot waiting for them to get done. What you want to do is look around the place. Look around so you can offer suggestions about product placement and advertising material suggestions, stuff like that. I mean, you may go over to the cooler and discover that, oh, he's got space next to his, his energy drinks that he could put to turn on beverages. You may have space on his counter to put a little display, one of those little tabletop things. If you make it really simple for them, where they can see they're going to be making some money and they see that they're going to have a product that people are going to want and it's going to be simple for them to incorporate it into their business, well, then they're going to go ahead and do that. Once you get their attention, their interest, what you want to do is you want to move them towards a presentation. You're going to start by saying a little bit about Turn On. Tell them the Turn On story. Howard Hirsch, marketing genius, launched Turn On a few years ago, sold hundreds of thousands of cans of Turn On here in the United States and garnered all kinds of amazing celebrity endorsements like Donald Trump, David Letterman, all kinds of TV shows, all kinds of radio, lots of press, product that really everybody loves. But he was not pleased with the direction that it was going, and he completely closed down that operation. So the only way to purchase Turn On right now is through our new program. We're just launching this new retail distributor program, and then get into the presentation. Let me show you how simple it is to become a retail distributor. Now, just use an assumptive attitude here. Assume that they want to go to the next step, every step you take. So without asking permission, go right into the presentation. Open up your book if you have a three-ring binder, if you've got your laptop going. As a matter of fact, if it takes a minute to start your laptop and get it running, start it while you're talking to them so that when you get to the point where you're ready to do a presentation, it's right there for you. Now, after the presentation, say something like, can you see how Turn On gives you a great new profit center? And then listen to what they say. They're going to kind of direct you to what to say next. Use that printed paper of the chart from the presentation and review the numbers with them so that they can really see what the, the numbers are. Because realistically, that's what they're interested in. They're interested in getting a product that's going to move quickly, that's going to give them a good profit margin, that's going to be simple and easy. The simpler, easier, more profit they make, the more excited they're going to be. Take out your retail distributor information sheet and say something like, if it's okay, I just need some basic information, I'll get you set up as a turn on retail distributor. Now, always keep an assumptive attitude here. So you pause a little bit. If they don't stop you, you say, oh, and welcome aboard. And you can stand up, reach out, shake their hand, you know, strong handshake, great eye contact, pleasant smile, and just keep moving. When you get to the box that you check on that information sheet after placing the order for the two cases, either use your computer to log into your site or ask them, can I get online with your computer and get you set up? Pause slightly and glance around like you're looking for where the computer is. And if you see it, or even if you don't, if you think it's over that way, it, it, it just is it that way? You know, and just say once you kind of have that together, would that be okay? Nod your head and start moving in that direction. Again, don't wait for their answer. Don't be real fast with this. 
slow and easy, but move towards it. Take action that they have to stop you from moving if they, if they want to stop the process. Otherwise, they'll just flow right with it. You'll just move them right through the process, nice and comfortable, everybody's happy. After you place their order, you then can continue to sign them in. Use the retail distributor button there so there'll be no charge for their distributorship and just walk them through the sign-in process. Help them select a name for their site. Usually it's going to be the business name. Then show them how they'll place their next order. Let them know that they could have auto ships set up, get continuous flow of product. They could have four auto ships, really. They could have one weekly, two cases each time, I mean, whatever way they want to do that. Remind them how they're going to get paid the 23% on all future orders. And show them where on their site they can go to get more promotional materials as well. If you've left them some pieces and they want to print up more later, make it simple and easy for them. Let them know how to contact you or turn on for support. And that's it. You're done. Simple as that. Before you leave, by the way, ask for referrals. You might say something like, gosh, you probably know other businesses in the area that would really love to have a, a product like this. Who would you know that you wouldn't feel would be a direct c competitor of yours that you might be able to maybe introduce me to long distance so I can go over there and set up a distributorship for them as well? Who comes to mind? And then glance down at your piece of paper, grab your pen, don't make eye contact here, let them think, and then see what they come up with. Prod them for that because they may be able to give you three, four, five places that are really going to be great for you. And obviously when they do that, you're able to walk into that place and say, I just left Joe's convenience store and he suggested I come by. You know Joe, right? That's a great way to get into that. I mean, you got to figure as you're building this, the first place that you get will be the only one you've got. The benefit to them is they're the first in town. After that, you can start dropping the names of other distributorships that you've set up so that they realize that they're among other people who have decided to go ahead and do this with you. Definitely always want to ask for referrals. And another thing, you always want to follow things up. If you walk into the store and for some reason you can't find the decision maker, get a phone number, leave them the flyer, leave them a business card if you have that, and ask them, what's a good time for me to call John Smith back? That kind of thing. Make sure you follow up. Now, after you set up your distributorships, make sure you follow that up as well. Stop in every now and then. Ask them how they're doing. Show concern. Suggest different product placement. Anything that we might create that's brand new in terms of uh, point of sale materials, you might suggest that as well. Follow up. Follow up is the key in this kind of business. So I know this has been very basic. Some of you guys already knew all of this stuff. If you didn't, I hope this was helpful. This is Phil Stone. See you on the next video.